Big Nine Wrestling. Typically 14 weight classes, but we're going to be a little bit short in competition tonight. Owatonna with around 45 kids in the room and uh, Winona under 20, it would appear. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have probably, what, about five, six varsity matches here. I mean, we had more JV matches going on tonight than varsity. Well, nice chance to get some matches in early season. Kids have been working hard for three or four weeks and uh, getting some live action in front of a good crowd here at the Owatonna Wrestling Gym. There's the number one ranked kid in the state at 106, Blake West, being introduced. State place here a year ago. He's going to have a forfeit tonight. They live on a weight machine. The Pomeroy's must uh, either throw a lot of bales or lift a lot of weights. They're all put together pretty well. Should be a good heavyweight match. Yeah, the Huskies, of course, flying high, coming off that state football championship. In fact, back-to-back -back state football championship. A few of the guys participating in both sports, so they haven't been in the wrestling room a long time. Oatana led by a couple of number one ranked wrestlers, Blake West at 106, third place a year ago, and returning state champion, Kate King. One of the top recruits in the state of Minnesota this year, Kate is senior, heading for the University of South Dakota in Brookings next year. There's the number one ranked 106 pounder in the state, Blake West. When your opponent does not have a man at the weight, your team receives 16 points. And that was YJ getting six at 113. YJ Eveliron and Blake West, two forfeits. So Montana's out front, 12-0. Who we got here? Keenan Habel for Owatonna, Southmore. Wrestled a lot of matches last year for the Huskies. Owatonna coached again by Adam Watola. And uh, the Winhawks led by former Winhawk uh, star wrestler Joey Holman. It'd be nice if we could actually have people at the table. Watana in the blue singlets. In fact, uh, kind of a new style, Tim, with the yeah. shorts and not the traditional singlet. Two-piece Brutus wrestling gear here. Picked that up right at the end of last night. Got Ryan Henningsen out here. Ryan, a state placer last year. I think he was third in the Minnesota State High School Championships. Did a lot of freestyle in Greco. Winning some state championships there in Minnesota, USA. And it's Henningsen in on the first points with a takedown for two. Nice job by Habel hitting away for one. Our match score is two to one. Winona with the lead. Winona in the gray singlets, orange highlights. A referee tonight from Casson, Minnesota, one of the best in southern Minnesota, Dean Nelson on the whistle. Longtime ref, you'll see him at all the big events, the Clash, the Christmas tournament, state tournament sections. Good to have him here for a big 
Big Nine duel. Yeah, absolutely. Abel holding his own against the highly ranked state placer Henningsen. Oatana wrestler is sophomore Winona with a junior on the mat. Powerful takedown by Winona. Goes to the half Nelson. Abel in trouble here, he needs to face away. And the first two minutes have expired. Two takedowns for Winona. And Ryan Henningsen leads four to one. Henningsen ranked number two in the state at 113 pounds, bumping up tonight to 120. Abel ranked number nine in the state at this weight. by Winona, able in trouble for Owatonna, trying to break the grips and get away. Nice counter by Hable, and a oh, two point wow, reversal. There we go. Fantastic. Rarely seen against a returning state placer. When he's got that cradle, it's usually over. Yep. Well, Cannon's fought, squirmed his way out of that one. And he's tightened the match score, 7-3. Abel picked up three. Looking good on top there, nice half. Oh. And referee stops it to uh, protect the wrestler. So Winona will pick up two on the reversal, that's nine. And I think Kanan's gonna stay at three, nine to three. Halfway through the match now, a little, over, a little under a minute to go, second period. Three two-minute periods in a high school match. No riding time. Probably watching the best wrestler Winona has this year. The highest ranked for sure. Where do we see Trevor Pomeroy coming in? I think he's going to have Ethan Stockwell at 170. And he's under the radar on the rankings. The guillotine doesn't have him mentioned in their second set of rankings this uh, season. I think Winona likes that. They like to stay under the radar on that. Uh, Got their dark horse publicity coming in from the far side of the state. And, Abel really shaking that arm there. Yeah, a lot Just of pressure. Shoulder tweak, pretty good. Hope you'll spread the word about our YouTube broadcast. Tell your family and friends it's available out here. And we'll have uh, all the home meets and the Owatonna Albert Lee meet this season. Moving on to the third period now. And if you're uh, watching in the Winona area, and if you've got an athletic young guy that would like uh, to test his tenacity and strength and skill and burn some energy and learn some hard lessons. They need some wrestlers in the Winona program this year. And of course, Owatonna always having an open door in their room. Absolutely. Saw a young man wrestling at heavyweight, a senior just came out for wrestling. We have the kids program starting almost in preschool anymore. Yep. Yep. And here's a young man in his senior year comes out for his first match. Really uh, proud of the heart and uh, effort that he, he put out there, Jaden Smith. Came into the room at captain's practice. You know, he said, hey, what prompt you to come on? Well, the guys were kind of on him. We needed a heavyweight. He said, what do I got to lose? What an attitude, you know? <laughs> That's great. Add a little more to your senior year. Yep. He said his thumbs were getting tired. It was time to come out there, there and wrestle a little bit. 
We got a little too much of that anymore, Tim. That's for <laughs> yes, sure. We do. Stall warning now on uh, Habel. You can see why Henningsen is so highly ranked. You really keep some pressure on. Makes it hard to move on the bottom position. 40 seconds left in our match, 14 to 3. If you win your match, you get three team points. If you win your match by a superior decision, which is nine or more, eight or more, mm -hmm. you get an extra team point, four team points. The pin, the forfeit, default, all still worth six. And there's a stall warning, that'll make it 15 to three. Five seconds to go. Good match, two ranked wrestlers. We have an age decision, 120 pounds from the win house, Ryan Hennington. Well, that puts the score Owatonna 12 with Winona Cotter at four. What do we got coming up here? Our next weight class is 126. Uh, so, uh, Dolman and then the younger, the younger of the Henningson brothers, Logan, didn't make weight tonight, so coach is going to make him bump from 113 to 126. Well, he's given up a lot of weight here to a pretty darn good wrestler. Chase Dahlman's another one that kind of flies under the radar as far as the rankings go. He didn't have a whole lot of varsity time last year. Expect to see him in the lineup quite a bit though through the season. Well, Tana really loaded with kids in these lightweights. Competition is, is tough in the room. for a takedown here. Nobody has control. You get your points, Chase. And there's Winona oh. with a takedown for two. So important to get that first two points in a match because it really changes your strategy. Sure does. From catching up to controlling. Dolman with a wizard. Turns in. One point awarded for an escape. Hip toss. Out go. of bounds. No points. No control. Good try by Dolman. Nice shot. Nice wizard counter by Henningsen. There you go. Look at him. Well, if he can hook the near leg, and he does. Nice. Should be two. Yep. Takedown awarded to Dolman, and the lead is three to two. 20 seconds remaining in the period. Set up, Chase. Five seconds. Wow. Three near fall there for Chase Dolman. Puts the score of six to two. Tim, I really like that. There was 20 seconds left. He did not quit. He just kept wrestling to the whistle and added a, a big three points on that near fall. That's the main thing. Just not giving up, pushing through. Early season, it's you're, you're going to be tired. You, you just can't get in top wrestling shape quickly. And this is where Chase has always come on, though. Right, right there when you least expect it, he's the guy that's going to hang on to the end, pull out a surprise. <laughs> I've seen this guy come from behind more than more than a few times. There, pull out a win. Just you're not sure where he's going to go with it. The referee was warning Winona because he did not make an effort to take Chase back to the mat. If you're in the top position, you've got five seconds to get your man back to the mat. Otherwise, it's stalling. 
And he's got it. Look at that. He's got it. Yeah, beautiful. Two minutes, 46 seconds on the ball. A very well wrestled match. Now a youngster is set to go. Jacob Renardi, just a freshman, wrestled a lot of kids' matches. Bird. Evan Fabian and Jacob Renardi. Fabian didn't make it to state, but he did wrestle a lot at the Minnesota USA events, uh, finishing uh, in the top four in his weight class in both Greco and freestyle. Well, you can see where he's coming at with those throws. Oatana up 18 to four right now as the team score. There you go, you can really tell. Fabian has experience in the freestyle Greco. Oh yeah. He is just relentless from the feet and confident. Has those extra matches, that extra wrestling time that you get wrestling freestyle Greco in the spring and summer. And it scores a takedown. Tim, you think uh, you were saying that uh, Renardi did quite well in the Shields tournament at Faribault to open the season. Yes, he did. Uh, really surprised everybody, I think, coming in as a freshman. Did he make the finals? Yeah, yeah. Jacob came through and pulled off a second place finish. That's awesome. Tough tournament, early season, freshman year. Yep. Good things. This is exciting for wrestling fans. Both guys kind of loading it up, ready to throw. And they tumble out of bounds, no points. So Fabian of Winona still with a two to one lead. And the referee stops it as uh, got a blood timeout for Oatano. There are five minutes of blood time available and then also clean up and recovery. Oatana oh, ranked number three in the state of Minnesota. Shakopee, a really loaded team this year, ranked number one in AAA. Oatana oh, next in the Chaska Chan Ethan Herman Memorial Tournament, a nice format with a dual, dual format for varsity, dual teams, and then a JV, kind of an open tournament. So a lot of kids will get a lot of matches in Chaska Chan Hassan tomorrow. What a move! What a move! Nice. That's a four-point move, a takedown and a two-point near fall by the freshman Jacob Bernardi. Look at that arch. Wow. <laughs> These guys are fearless, Tim. This is great. <laughs> Wide open match. Runs out on Renardi, but what a first period. We've got two more of those to go. Green's choice. Nice forward roll by Fabian, he's out of there. Five to three, Bernardi of Oatana with the lead. A big takedown coming here. Kind of a pivotal spot in the match. Fabian can tie with a takedown. 
And Renardi can get a comfortable four point lead if he scores it. They lock up. which way it was wow. going to go, but it goes to Otana. And seven to three, Renardi with one minute to go. Second period, halfway through the match. Another very exciting high school wrestling match. I think I could safely say Renardi's had a thousand matches kids At least. in the kids division. At least. So he's very experienced on the mat, and Fabian, of course, as we mentioned, state placer in both freestyle and Greco. But it is early season, you can tell the fatigue starting to set in on these guys. We've got over two and a half minutes to go. There's a big difference between being in football shape and being in wrestling shape. <laughs> All you former wrestlers out there, you know what we're talking about. Even though it's 2018, they still have cotton mouth. <laughs> there it comes. Wow, elbow deep on that half, just buried it in there. It's tight, looking good. Renardi needs to get off his knees and get some leverage. Fabian on a good roll through here. There we go. Yep, there it is. Big pin. Yeah, nice. Nice pin by the freshman. Beautiful Three minutes, 50 seconds. Three, five, oh. Hard fought victory by the freshman. And it looks like they're gonna forfeit to the number nine ranked man in the state. Freshman Landon Johnson. Landon again worked hard in the offseason. Had a lot of success in freestyle and Greco and looking forward to a good season for Landon Johnson. Here's Caden Nelson, the champion and outstanding wrestler. Yeah, wrestler there at the Dick Shields tournament. So a nice Very start. Impressive. Caden had a Bit of a tough year last year, kind of a growing year. Had some injuries, but looks like he's going to be solid in the, the middleweights here. Another forfeit to Trevor Schroeder, senior. Uh, three seniors in the lineup tonight. Each of those forfeits worth 16 points. Matt Sikora, a sophomore, getting one. Scorekeepers keep it up. I think it's 42 to 4. 48 to 4. 48. Here comes another solid Winona wrestler, Trevor Pomeroy. Long line of Pomeroy's from Winona. And this will be Ethan Stockwell. Of course, his Stockwell name very well uh, set in Owatonna wrestling. Ethan a junior. Pomeroy with a quick takedown release, it's two to one. Pomeroy was in the state tournament last year at 160, did not place, had a 21 and seven record on the Winona Winhawk varsity in his sophomore year, now a junior. Also finished third in Greco at the Northern Plains, which is Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, the Dakotas, Minnesota. Yeah, you know, these kids that put the time in in the off season are the ones that uh, you're gonna see go that extra distance more, you know, more than likely we're gonna see those guys at the state tournament. You can just see the confidence in, in the technique and yes. Forty five seconds to go, first period. Again three two minute periods in a high school match. Fourteen matches make a dual meet. 
but uh, Winona a little shorthanded, so there's been a lot of forfeits in this one. 42-4 on the scoreboard. Yeah, it's on with it's the actually 48-4. We're missing uh, six points over here on the main score. There was a lot of them flying out. There, there was. Ethan was a letterman last year. So might be the, a, lot of, a lot more varsity for him this year as a junior. You know, that's one area here that uh, we fall kind of light in. You know, Otana this year uh, don't have a lot of depth in those upper weights. They're between about 152 and 182, honestly. Yeah. Below that, we're loaded, but. Uh, Get eight to one now. Pomeroy Bonona. Nice double leg pickup and take down Winhawks. is really slowed here and the referee is kind of watching to see who's going to get warned for stalling. 10-1 lead for Pomeroy of Winona. Ethan Stockwell of Owatonna in the bottom position. You know, it looks like Stockwell has given up a little weight there to Pomeroy as well. Pomeroy is really stacked. He's yeah, really he put is. together. Yeah. Just tree trunks for legs. Ethan weighed in at 167, so he's right there for the weight class. Pomeroy right there at 169.9. Point nine. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the second period. Dominating match so far by Trevor Pomroy, the junior from Winona. 10 to one lead. Stockwell's gonna have his choice. Ethan takes the bottom for the third and final period. in on a double. Pomeroy blocks his hips down strong and blocks it. Ninety seconds to go. Takedown for Pomeroy makes it 12 to 2. Escape for Stockwell 12 to 3. And if you win your match, you get three points for your team. If you get a major decision, which is an eight or more margin, you get four. And if you score a 15-point margin, you get a tech fall, which is worth five team points. That's what Pomeroy is shooting for right now. With a minute remaining, he's got a 14-3 to three lead. Now 14-4. seconds to go.
Shot by Stockwell, sprawling is Pomeroy, and I think that's the end of the scoring in this one. 14 to four. Major decision, so that'll be four points for Winona. Both of the Winhawk wins by major decision tonight. Tough match there for him. Yeah. And very well, though, he was able to stop the guy from scoring. Here's the returning state champion from Oatana, Cade King, and he'll have the easy walk tonight. A forfeit for Cade King, ranked number one in the state. 16 points, and we've got it 52 to 8. Quincy Price gets six. So now you're at 16. Nick Staska ranked at 195, bumping up to 220. Had a fantastic football season again this year. And a pretty darn good wrestler as well. Skaska State Qualifier last year had 36 varsity wins. behind Shakopee and Apple Valley. seconds to go, first period. No part of that, and that'll be the end of a scoreless period. Our first scoreless period, I think, in this dual meet. 220 pound bout, Owatonna and Winona. Our next match on YouTube is the big rivalry, Owatonna Albert Lee. You'll watch for that one. Tim, I admire Nick just getting on the getting on the mat and getting the singlet on. You know, as a, as a young guy, being in back-to-back -back state championship football runs and what a year they had. It'd be hard just to get your mind into wrestling. Oh yeah, and you're all that you know, fun. You, you, you spend know. that whole month and a half, two months just focused on the you know playoffs football. and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. U.S. Bank Stadium. Say so we got a stalling warning here on Staska. He's leading 1-0, so usually the guy that's ahead 
with no takedowns in a match, uh, is going to get the first morning. Yeah, Nick should have an exciting senior year, you know, a close to his time here in Owatonna. Not sure what his plans are after high school. His brother Ben, I believe, was going to college over in Eau Claire. One zero at 220 pounds, four minutes down, two minutes to go. Staska will have the top position. Let's see if he can turn him to his back. Nakagawa weighed in at 208 tonight and Nick Staska at 197, so both guys light for the 220 pound class, but still uh, pretty good sized boys. Nakagawa coming in at 209.7. So Nick's giving up about 12 pounds about 12, here. 12, yeah. Well, if he'll go to 195 later, I know Nick will, but I, I don't know what Noctigal's plans are. 195's open on the Winona roster. Well, it'd be nice, you know, if, if Nick does go to 195, I mean, uh, you know, we, we've kind of got an opening at 220 as well. Moldner came into the season after football here, weighing right around that 240 pound. Uh, I don't, I don't. See tonight, Nolner's down to 228. Already, yeah. Well, you know, a couple weeks of that wrestling here, you, <laughs> you could shed a few pounds pretty easy. Absolutely. Of course, they have a breakfast tomorrow. The football team has a breakfast tomorrow, and then their uh, banquet on Sunday, so they'll be loading up there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Olatana takes off to the Chaska Chanhassen Christmas tournament tomorrow. Which, that should be exciting. Yeah, good event. Yeah, yeah. Good JB good guys will get some good individual matches. Both men have an escape, and now Chaska's hit with stalling, so it's two to one Noctagon. Winona leading in this big match. Come on. Get up there, Nick. Come on, Nick. No, no, did not seconds. give it to him. We needed 10 more seconds to break those grips. What are we going to see here? That was a close one. And it's going to go to Noctegal, I believe, on a two to one score. Not going to call it quite yet. Adam Oital is here talking with the ref. But, uh, yeah, it looks like the ref's decision stands. Yeah. That's a tough loss there. Good match. Those guys could work out every day. That'd be uh, oh, man, yeah. good for both of them. 16 to 11 here for Owatonna. On to our heavyweight. <laughs> Isaiah just a junior, so exciting. Both his brothers wrestled a little for Owatonna. Yep, yep, yes they did. All good football players. Hey, see, there's another one. He's had a pretty decent wrestling career. Absolutely. Got in a little earlier than the brothers. Yeah. That helped. Ooh, no two, no two. Hang on to that, Isaiah.
Isaiah definitely in a compromised position, but no points yet. Guy's got a hold of that foot tight. Get on that head, Isaiah. Get wow, he got his leg free. Nice, he's got it. Those Beautiful. are powerful hips when you can get free from that position. Wow. About one in ten guys can pull that off, I think, Tim. Incredible. Yeah, it was. You know, we're looking for him to stuff that head down. We'll take it, man. Throw the quarter Nelson, whatever. He yep. just powered his way out of there. Takedown is the only point on the board, and that's two for Nodler of Oatana. And now Russell Tout, it's two to one. I believe I'm right that Oatana won the tournament in Faribault by one half point. Yes, to North so Carolina. We needed Isaiah's win there. We did, absolutely. To bring that the was gold. a crucial win for yeah. us. So that was a, a big accolade already for Isaiah this year. Red's choice, Red's choosing bottom here. Facing off with Mankato West and Northfield here next week. At a try in Mankato. About halfway through the match, two to one score, Isaiah with the lead and the top position. Stall warning on Winona. See, we're working a half in, trying to. Tana winning this duel comfortably 60 to 11. And again, we hope that you'll spread the word to all your friends and family across the nation and the world to catch the YouTube uh, streaming of Oatana Wrestling. Looks Make to be a good year. Make sure to subscribe to our channel too, please. That way you'll be alerted anytime Oatana Wrestling goes live. Well, that's an easy one. There you go. Seconds left here in that second period. Very close, but no near fall. I think the Winona guy's getting a little wore out. I imagine they're both tired. We'll see who's in better shape right here. Nodler will have the bottom. He's got to get out from under the big guy. Let's see the way in sheet. What do we have their heavyweight at? 255. He's got almost 30 pounds on Isaiah. And he nice out. escape there by Isaiah. Very important to get out from underneath. Got that two point spread there. And the 30 pound weight difference. Yeah. Inside. Yeah, got to get worn down pretty quickly there on the bottom. He got a big dude on top. Here. Big takedown coming, this will decide the match. We have no ties in wrestling. Duck under attempt by Nobler. Now 
Got a good plan going. Let's see if he can execute. Under a minute now. 50 seconds to go in the third and final period at heavyweight. Close match, three to one, Nodler of Oatana with a lead. Xander Russert of Winona. Xander come into those rankings anywhere, Dale? Not yet. Another stalling on Xander. That gives another point here to very important point. And now if Xander scores a takedown, Isaiah can still win. And Isaiah coming for the takedown. He's around behind. Takedown, Oatana. Nodler locks it up with a two-point takedown with 14 seconds to go. Nice heavyweight match. Nice win by the Oatana Jr. There it is. Nice win by Isaiah. Well, we didn't get to see all the guys, but we certainly saw some good action tonight. Chase Dolan, Jacob Bernardi with uh, wins by pin that were very impressive. And Isaiah with a nice win at heavyweight for the Oatana Huskies. 63 to 11. Enjoyed being here with you, Tim, and hope that uh, fans will join us for the rest of the season. Gail, it's always good working with you. Thanks a lot for your time tonight as well. The voice of Minnesota wrestling here. There you go. So, also want to give a big shout out to our sponsors tonight. They've been, uh, they make this all possible. Without them, streaming would be a little more difficult. Be impossible. Yes. So thank you very much. And if you're out there listening, Please give some of your business to our sponsors and thank them for supporting Owatonna Wrestling. We'll catch you all on the flip side and have a great night.